Welcome. Thank you for joining this live stream. My name is Paul Fletcher and I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha. I am deeply honored and grateful to be with you today. Today is October 11, 2016. And today is the fifth day in the five day series of a couple week long series to open the spiritual channels. Part of the series is to comprehend the nature of the human vessel, the nature of our energy body, <clears throat> the nature of each of the major five energy centers and all of our energy body's association to our spiritual channels. What is the purpose, power and significance of our spiritual channels in connecting to the divine and re receiving messages from heaven. So when we uh, take the time to activate these spiritual practices that have been passed down through well over 5,000 years and we are, are blessed to find a spiritual teacher and father in the form of Dr. and Master Shah who has brought this wisdom to humanity uh, and has shared freely like I share this wisdom with you freely. Uh, it's been brought to humanity this time to wake us up, to realign our soul, heart, minds, and bodies to the divine. That is the purpose, power, and significance of opening your spiritual channels so that we can reconnect to the heart of our Creator. <clears throat> and so these previous five days have been towards that end. And so uh, all those who will be watching this in the future, please be sure to go back to watch any of the previous videos on these five major energy centers. Uh, I will talk about them more in just a few minutes, but you can find my previous videos by going to my Facebook page, uh, clicking on the word about beneath the main image and scrolling down uh, till you see the word videos. And that's where you'll find the previous ones. <clears throat> so we've got uh, a couple folks joining us. Uh, welcome Brenda Lee. Welcome Eleanor Linwood. Great to see you. Hi Elsa. I'm not sure if you've been here before, but I'm so happy to see you. And Carol, Pat has joined us, and Patricia Dickinson has jumped in there. And so, um, <clears throat> one of the universal servants and students uh, of Dr. Master Shah signed up for what's called the Tao Communicator Program, which is a program that is intensive. It's, it's like what I've been sharing with you these last five days, except on a very intensive level over a period of two years. It's a program that every day the students are practicing to open their spiritual channels. They are doing divine direct soul communication. They are opening their soul language. They are doing the activities necessary to open the spiritual channels. And so um, next week, <coughs> tomorrow, uh, I, I, I may start. I have to decide if that's what I want to start on. But uh, we will definitely start moving forward on uh, the spiritual channels themselves. So for all those that again are coming in and a little bit new, <clears throat> the five major energy centers that are associated with our health, our well-being and our spiritual channels are the heart center, also in, in Dr. Master Shah's teaching known as the message center. And it's also called the fourth chakra. The reason we call it the message center is we receive messages from the soul world in our heart center. Um, there is the lower Dan Tian, also sometimes called the second energy center or second chakra. That's two of the five. A third major one is the Kundalini, and in the Taoist teachings called Snow Mountain Area, and other teachings are called the Golden Urn. And we did those uh, uh, practices and blessings over the last few days as well. <clears throat> so those are the three found, what's called foundation energy centers. The foundational energy centers are called foundational because they're integral to our health and well-being, boosting our energy, stamina, vitality, and immunity. When we take time to, to boost power and open our message center, we're more loving, we're less uh, out of balance emotional, we're far more aligned to uh, receive messages from the soul world. Our karmic activity that tends to beat us over the head sometimes doesn't hit us so hard it's simply because we're taking the time to open up our energy vehicle. All human beings from the moment of birth all come from the same source. We all are empowered with the same energy vehicle. It includes seven soul houses in Master Shah's teaching also known as seven chakras. It includes these five major energy centers. <clears throat> so these energy centers are not to be confused with 
the seven chakras. They are actually energy centers. So to repeat, message center, lower Dan Tian, Kundalini. Those are the three foundational ones. The other two are the third eye and the Zhu Chao, which is what we'll be going into today. <clears throat> so these five major energy centers are directly related to uh, our ability to have a powerful soul communication with the divine. Now, going into next week, I'll be going more into the four uh, soul language, uh, excuse me, the four uh, soul communication channels. There are four channels through which we, that have been released at this time, that we communicate to heaven through. So briefly, those are the soul language channel. All souls speak one language, soul language, your soul has a soul language, and we're going to go about the process of trying to open it up and release it. Some of you will have success, some of you will have to do a little more practice. And then, once the soul language is released, then we go to what's called the soul language translation and communication channel. And it is about uh, hearing from the soul world. If you followed any of my videos from the past, you know that I do what's called flows. What that means is I hear a message from the soul world and I speak it. <clears throat> this takes practice and it takes the opening of the spiritual channels, which is what you're slowly learning. But when we can hear uh, what souls are saying, children speak soul language. That's soul language. Pets speak soul language. So everyone and everything has a soul and they have a language. The ability to hear it and translate it is the second major uh, uh, soul channel. The third one is the third eye channel, which we did uh, quite a bit of practice on yesterday. And then the fourth one is the direct knowing channel. And they are released in that order and taught in that order because each one builds the foundation for the next. So you can look forward to that next week. So we've had quite a few more people join us. I want to acknowledge uh, Tawana <coughs> and Kathy. Welcome Kristen Stratcham. Welcome Kristen Rojas. Welcome Shari. Uh, Yvonne has joined us. Thank you for your um, phone call, Yvonne. I, I do want to check in with you on that. And um, Elisa said this is the first video. Her friend Brandy told her about it. Thank you, Brandy. And then uh, Felix has joined us. Welcome, Felix. Linda Jansen has jumped in. Welcome, Annika. Welcome, uh, Johnny and Shakira. Welcome, Kathy Campbell. Elizabeth Folk has jumped in there. Hi, Scott. And Sharon has jumped in. And Stephanie has joined us as well. And I'm going to ask all of you to please hit your share button. Other people may decide, hey, that sounds kind of cool. Let's jump in and find out what this is all about. And the more people that awaken, <clears throat> to their soul journey, then the lighter the planet. That is the purpose, power, and significance of why Dr. and Master Shah, who is uh, the teachings that anything that comes out of my mouth has come through this Master's wisdom that he has brought to humanity because he's a, a dedicated servant to humanity, is what's called a divine channel vehicle and servant. I want to give you just a little more background for all those that might be tuning in new as to so you know who this, this special uh, being is on the planet and how it can serve your soul journey. So Dr. Master Shah um, started out at the age of four uh, talking to one of the Buddhas, Guan Yin Buddha, which is the Buddha of compassion. And she taught him the compassion mantra. And he's running around the house as a four-year-old singing something that takes, you know, the adults like us, it takes us months and months and months to memorize. And this little four-year-old's running around the house and the parents didn't know what it was until somebody told them, oh, that's the compassion mantra. And they're wondering how this little four-year-old knew it. Well, in a very early age, his third eye was open. He was, you know, chatting with Kuan Yin. At the age of uh, five and a half, six, he started learning Tai Chi from a grandmaster in the park who was having his students attack him. And before the students even got within a few feet, they were literally flying backwards from the force of the Tai Chi movements. You know, imagine little six-year-old eyeballs going, wow, how is that possible? So he learned that from age six to 10 and became very proficient, moved into Qigong, then became a Shaolin uh, um, student. Then he went into a uh, doctorship. He learned uh, and received a medical degree in traditional Chinese medicine. He learned and received a, a degree in American medicine. And so he is a doctor in both modalities. He then uh, perfected because of his spiritual channels being open, the spiritual channel wisdom I'm teaching you today, he perfected a technique of called one needle acupuncture. And he worked on heads of state, people that are exceedingly important. And he was discovered because uh, 
he, he, he'd worked on a few people that knew people that knew people and pretty soon he shot up the ranks of visibility. Uh, somebody would come in with a slip disc, he'd put one needle in the back of their knee, on the back soft part, and the slip disc would be fixed. How is that possible? We can't comprehend that. But with open spiritual channels, you can see where the blockage area is. And these kinds of things has made this master more aware. He then trained with a world-renowned master who was in China, who he would see about two million people a year, this other master, and he would bring healing to all of them. That The place his teacher was from was, was known as the place where the incurable people come out cured. And uh, this master that he learned from spoke to him and said, there is a God. Keep in mind that in China, they don't they necessarily believe in those things. And so his master had direct connection and eventually the divine came to this, this man called Dr. Master Sha and he asked him one day, he said, would you be willing to be a divine vehicle and channel? Master Sha says, I'm, I'm honored, God. What is it that you want me to do? I really don't know what that means. He says, well, basically, you'll do the healing. You'll ask for the healing and I, God, will do the work. He said, okay, great. And he offered at that time, this is about 15 years ago, something that he came to learn the term of called the healing and transmission system in which uh, he was asked to say the word transmission and he could see with his third eye from the divine's heart went to this this man in the audience with about 300 people in the audience this man had liver cancer and he saw a golden ball go from god's heart to the man's liver and he said oh that's kind of neat god so that's what this being a divine channel is he said yeah that's part of it basically you're going to be um clearing people's blockages and you'll use you'll use the uh, the powers that I will pass on to you over the course of time. That started about 15 years ago. Since then, Master Shah has authored 22 books, 10 of which have reached New York Times bestsellers. If you know anything about how difficult it is to reach a bestseller, then you'll understand uh, the, the power and the wisdom that's in these books. Dr. Master Shah takes zero credit for the healing or the wisdom in the books. Why? Because his, uh, his um, top divine channel is sitting next to him, who types about 120 words a minute, sits there and he says, okay, God, I'm ready to write your book. What do you want to say? And then he just speaks it out in the course of a week, an entire book, two inches thick, it goes to the printing press about four times a year. So the, uh, the, uh, the, the book companies, they can't comprehend it because that's a virtually an impossibility, let alone make it to the New York Times bestsellers list. So this is the divine's work and it's came to humanity to service. It's came to wake us up. The, the teachings that I've been offering ever since I started these live stream almost four months ago, uh, I take zero credit for. I'm basically reading out of the book and I have practiced them for eight years and I've seen the results and then I'm passing this wisdom on to you freely as it has been passed on to me because that is the nature of unconditional service, which is the foundation of what Dr. and Master Shah teaches. <clears throat> he teaches that soul is the boss, that everyone and everything has a soul, and that when we make that our priority, when our communication at the level of soul is the priority, we can solve literally any problem we have in our life. You got financial problems, deal with it at the level of soul. You have health problems that can be healed at the level of soul. So he brought the how-to's as well. It's great and cute to hear nice wisdoms and to read these one little sentence secrets, but if you don't have a how-to, it's just, you know, cute. That's the beautiful thing about this, uh, this very special being, is not only does he bring a lot of one sentence secrets, he says A, B, C, D. This is what your energy system is. This is what your five major energy centers are. This is why each major energy center is relevant. This is how you open each one of them. This kind of information is very rarely shared publicly. It's very important to comprehend that this information is very often kept close to the breast by very high level masters. They don't share this kind of information. It just doesn't happen. Okay? It's kept close to the vest because that's how it's been passed down from master to master to master. And uh, one of the things that is unique about Master Shah is because he's doing the Divine's work, he was told it's time to wake up humanity. Spread everything about how to wake up the human body, the energy body, the emotional body, the mental body, how to clear all the karmic blockages, spread the information far and wide as quickly as possible. 
So we are beyond blessed to have a very generous, unconditional servant to humanity that has uh, brought these kinds of wisdoms. I encourage you to learn more about Dr. and Master Shah. I encourage you to go to his website, drsha.com. You will find all kinds of incredible wisdom. You'll also probably find one or two negatives. There's always those unpleasant people that want to say something they can't understand. But that's okay. That's where they're at on their soul journey. We love them and we honor them regardless. So do your own homework and learn more as we go. Today, what is the Zhu Chao? What is the power, significance, and purpose of it? What is its relationship to the other five major energy centers? And how does it assist us with opening our spiritual channels? I'll tell you in just a minute after I acknowledge some people who have joined us. Welcome Melissa, welcome Ari, welcome Sarah MacArthur, and uh, welcome Loveness, welcome Rath Amara, and Anissa Dove has joined us, and Monica just jumped in there too. Love you all. Thank you for taking a chance and coming to see how this wisdom can serve you. Again, if you missed any of my previous videos, right above my image is a link to go to my Facebook page, go to About, go to Videos. Also, um, if you want to follow the live stream, look for the word follow somewhere in the right-hand corner. Either it's there now or when I finish, the word follow will pop up. <clears throat> the Zhu Chao is the fifth of the five major energy centers. It is located right here between the eyes, just behind the bone plate. There is an acupuncture point there called the Yin Tong. Yin, Y-I-N, Tong, T-A-N-G. That's the acupuncture point. The Zhu Chao is an energy point just behind it. Now, oftentimes people mis misinterpret what is called the third eye as this point here. And although there is some visual associations, the third eye is actually a cherry-sized energy center in the center of the brain. So uh, this, on the other hand, is what's known as the center of the intelligence point. Now, the human brain has roughly 15 billion cells. I tend to think there's well over a trillion. Uh, and we really only actualize between 5 and 10% of the brain potential. And so when we activate the Zhu Chao, when we do practices, uh, if possible, on a daily basis to empower this intelligence energy center, then in essence what we're doing is we're waking up the latent, latent capabilities of the brain. So as we, as a human race, increase our brain power, <clears throat> we can use it to serve us in our soul journey. <clears throat> we are a soul having a physical experience, and a great deal of humanity is very stuck in the world of mind and emotions. They're not grounded, they're not uh, um, uh, operating at a soul level. They're not looking at life from the eyes of the soul. Why do you think you came here? Have you ever asked the question, what's the purpose of life? Why am I here? I asked that for many, many years of my soul journey. And when I opened uh, one of Dr. and Master Shah's book called The Power of Soul, one of the very first sentences is, the purpose of life is to serve. I'm like, wow, resonated with my heart and soul. The purpose of the, the human experience is to serve the soul's journey. We serve the soul's journey by doing things to make others happier and healthier. This collectively assists the whole. It lifts everybody up at the same time. It's like when the tide rises, all the boats go up at the same time. And so what this does is it increases our soul standing. Another way of saying it, we go back to heaven a bit faster. Very simple. You don't have to climb the mountain of Tibet to get the answer anymore. There you have it. But that's, the, that's the, the power of a simple one sentence secret that this master has many of. <clears throat> and so the Zhu Chao was something I didn't even know about until I had read it in one of his books. As the fifth major energy center, when we empower it, <clears throat> empower it we're in essence activating the latent abilities of our intelligences. When we have more intelligence, we don't do stupid and unpleasant things that bring harm or suffering to others. We, we, we receive ideas from heaven that we can actualize because we're not stuck in the old. When we operate from the level of soul, our soul will guide us to guide the mind. Currently, in the human sense, uh, the mind for, for most of us is, is, is ruling the, the roost. 
and saying, do this, don't do that. Oh, you really don't want to do that. Um, oh, this TV show is more important. You know, you don't need to go do anything for your spiritual journey. And the mind is running the show. And um, as we move into the soul journey and we open up these five energy centers, then heaven, who is always communicating to us 100% of the time, is more than happy to uh, finally get that message across to us that's going to assist us. Now, I see that the, the video is lagging here and there. <clears throat> I hope that it's not too bad. So, we have to join hearts and souls together. I've been following flow and just speaking from my heart, but it is time now to connect us all heart to heart, soul to soul. Let's place our hands in this hand mudra called soul light, uh, the, the soul light soul service hand position. It's very much like a prayer. The difference is we drop the left hand in front of our heart center and the right hand points to heaven. If you pay attention and do this prior to starting any meditation, any forgiveness practice, anything, you'll actually notice a significant difference. When I do it, I notice my crown chakra light up. It's, it's kind of like saying, okay, heaven, I'm ready to connect. It has that kind of a, a body mudra. So you can do this or not. <clears throat> um, close your eyes and I will invite in all the holy beings to service on this most important day. They're all layers of the divine all layers of the Tao, all layers of original creation, up to original creator and beyond. Dear all beings of light, serving the plan of the light side, all layers of, of uh, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Lamas, Sifus, Gurus, Saints, Masters, Ascendant Masters, Angels, Healing Angels, Archangels. We love you, honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you. Dear the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, any of the downloads, treasures, and transmissions we've received in any lifetime, we love you, honor you, respect you. We ask you to please be with us. We ask our treasures to turn on. Dear the soul of the energy centers in my body, all my seven chakras and soul houses, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Can you please activate, help me to receive the greatest blessings today to open my spiritual channels. <clears throat> Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Could you please turn on, offer a blessing to all souls in all universes as we chant. So for those that are new, just receive the blessings that comes with this soul song. Those that know it, please chant to serve. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, Li, Lula. Wo, I, Wo, Xin, Erling. Wo I tran ran lay Wong ling rong her mu shir shong Shong I ping on a she Shong I ping on a she I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I don't know why I'm thinking about it, but I am, so I'm just going to mention it. One of the students, uh, I think she's watching now, uh, received a blessing <clears throat> and she commented about uh, some of the benefits of the blessing but prior to that she mentioned how well her cat is doing because about a week earlier she was talking about how her 15 year old cat was eating in one end and stuff was coming out the other end at the same time and that this poor cat had no benefits whatsoever from uh, uh, going to the doctors that there was nothing they could do basically it, it was age related it was you know an issue and um the reason I thought about it was because of the, the power of the healing that we work with. Dr. and Master Shah, because he's a divine channel and servant to humanity, has received authorities to transmit healing power to others. And it's called Divine Healing Hands. 
And so there's about uh, seven, eight, ten thousand people on the planet who have received this ability. So when she asked me about what can be done for the cat, uh, I asked Kevin and they said, just ask the Divine Healing Hand healers to serve. So I went on Facebook and I said, dear all Divine Healing Hands healers that are interested in serving, here's this beautiful cat, this is the condition, please offer a blessing as appropriate. There was about 25, 30 healers said, happy to offer blessing. About a week later, I was chatting with this student and she said, you know, I hadn't even noticed, but for five days, there's been zero problem. How is that possible? None of those people that offered this cat a blessing knew the cat. They just opened their heart, they turned on Divine's healing hand, and they offered a blessing. Probably only three to five minutes, maybe at best. But a cat, many thousands of miles away, now no longer has a problem that medical science could not solve. That's the power of working with divine power. So this here, to go back to it, I just wanted to share that with you. It just popped in my head, hopefully there's a value to you. This is from the Soul Mind Body Medicine book. I know it's backwards in your image, but it's called Soul Mind Body Medicine. It's probably the third or fourth book in Master Shah's series, maybe the fifth book. And it's a foundational book, uh, truly a valuable book. This here is an image, I'm gonna try to hold it still, of the five major energy centers. You'll see at the head area, there's one on the forehead and one in the center, which is the third eye. And you go lower in the body and you will see uh, three in the lower part of the body. You'll notice one in the very center right just below the belly button. You'll notice one right behind it down a little bit lower. That is the Kundalini point. And then of course you'll see the heart center. So these are the five major energy centers that we've been focusing on. And so um, very quickly for anybody that's new, heart center um, in the center of the body, fist size right behind the chest plate, uh, basically between the nipples. Lower Don Tien, drop down from your belly button about an inch and a half, go in about two and a half inches, fist sized energy center. Kundalini, draw a direct line back from your belly button, go straight back about two thirds of the way, drop down about two and a half inches, that is your Kundalini point, or energy center, excuse me. The uh, third eye is center of the brain. Uh, basically, you draw a, a line straight from the top of your ears over, a line from your nose over, and where that point intersects, go straight down in, roughly an inch and a half, center of the brain. That's your third eye center. Uh, it's about cherry-sized. And then there is, of course, the fifth one, which we're talking about a bit more today. So that should bring you up to speed. Now, <clears throat> there is uh, what's called the four-power technique that we're going to be using to facilitate the empowerment of the Zhu Chao. One of the things that is very, very relevant in these practices is to do them in a manner that is cognizant of not hurting your energy body. Example, don't just put energy into the third eye and focus on the third eye. You're going to cause yourself pain and it might not work all that well. We taught in the last couple of days to empower the Snow Mountain Kundalini area. Why? because it feeds and nourishes the kidneys, brain, and third eye. So by giving the battery cell, which is the Kundalini area, proficient power in the right and orderly manner, we're able to slowly and naturally activate the other energy centers. That's just one foundational teaching. It's the same with anything that's up here, okay? You wanna think about this from a very common sense intelligence place. The human body has a base, like the base of a pyramid, and a point, the high point, okay? And that's how the energy body should be built, a very strong foundation and a very sharp and focused point. For the vast majority of humanity, it's the other way around. We're all upside down, like an upside down pyramid, right? Imagine an inverted pyramid, it's out of balance. People are emotionally imbalanced, they're mentally imbalanced, they have no base, there's addictions, there's all kinds of very unpleasant things going on because the energy body is out of whack. They have not understood these kinds of basic practices. How to boost the lower foundational energy centers? How to boost and open the Kundalini? The first soul house, the first chakra, very related to if, you're, if there's over-sexualization, if there's um, addictions, anything of that nature. A lot of blockages in your first chakra. So we want a strong base, and then we want an open heart center, and then the information will come in very clearly. 
So when we do these practices, if I do a practice for the Zhu Chao, if I do a practice for the third eye, always, 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 if you do a practice, always, 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 finish with a lower abdomen practice, okay? We bring the excess energy down, build a foundation, okay? A lot of people make mistakes of doing this incorrectly. So again, I see it's, uh, the video is um, lagging. Uh, I apologize. I'm playing with some, the new house I'm in. Uh, sometimes it's good, sometimes not so good. All right. Four powers for this energy center. Body power, soul power, mind power, and sound power. Uh, I'm going to offer a blessing to my phone and the frequency so that you're not dealing with this. So give me a second. Okay, hopefully that will work a little bit better now. All right. Zhu Chao. Now we have what's called near hand, far hand. One hand is near, four to seven inches away. The other one is about a foot and a half away. Now you never want to lock your elbow. You always want to leave a little bit of a gap. Also, the palm of your hand, this point here, would be facing this point in your forehead. Same thing with the other palms. They're basically one hand near, one hand far. If you could see it, it would look like this, okay? And the other hand is a little further back. Um, we're going to visualize golden light coming to this direct point right in there, just coming straight into that point. We're only going to do this about five minutes because for some of you, it has the potential to increase pressure in the mind. We're going to bring the power in and pull it down to the lower abdomen. Okay. We're going to use soul power in just a minute, which I'll, I'll give a little small teaching on. We're, uh, sound power, we're going to use the word E, Y-I, E, 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 E. E is the number one, which has a vibrational association with the upper part of the body. In earlier practices, we used the word jo, 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 which has an association to the number nine, which vibrates the lower abdomen area and so forth. So we'll use E, E, E. And I'm going to walk you through bringing the energies down to the other energy centers. So you'll follow me through on both the visualization and the sound power, because the sound power will change as we move the body down. The energies down. Okay. Um, all right. So body power, near hand, far hand. Uh, first one's about four inches away. The second one's roughly a foot or more away. Again, don't lock the arm. So go ahead, sit up straight where you're at, feet on the floor. <coughs> back away from the back of the chair. Place one hand in front of the other, kind of like what I'm showing you here. Close your eyes. Soul power. Do the soul. Repeat after me. Do the soul of my Zhu Chao energy center. I love you. Honor you. Appreciate you. You have the power to increase my intelligence. Do a good job. Thank you. We ask heaven. Dear divine, Tao, source, dear creator, all the holy beings who are present. Love you. Honor you. Respect you. Can you please bless me as appropriate to bring more power to my Zhu Chao. Increase my intelligence. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So I will turn sideways as we do this practice so you can see a little bit. Placing your hands in the appropriate position, close your eyes, visualize a pinpoint of golden light coming right into that point in between your eyebrows. And then chant with me. Yi, 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 yi. And when you chant, feel the vibration in that point. Yi, 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 
一一一一一一一一一一一一一一一一 zu chao increase intelligence 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 Divine light, see divine light coming into that point. Divine light, 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 divine light. If your hands get tired, you can switch them. Divine light, 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 ye, 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 Yi, 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 and then slowly pronounce yi. As you pronounce that long word, feel the vibration. Yi. Now move the palm that is far away, move it down to the heart center, bring it up out from your chest about a foot to a foot and a half, keep your arm bent, the other one is in front of your forehead, okay, and the center of your palm is facing your heart center, keep your eyes closed, see the light going down to your chest now, from your forehead down to your chest, chant Yi San, Yi San. Yi san, 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 yi san. San is the number three that vibrates the chest area, bringing the energy down. Yi san, 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 yi san. Now bring the hand that is in front of the heart center down in front of your lower abdomen. Point it to just below your belly button. The palm of your hand is relaxed, pointing just below your belly button. E jo, 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 e jo. This is exceptional if you have a headache. You put the palm over the headache area, or you can point the fingers towards the headache area, about four inches away. The other palm over your lower, or not over your lower abdomen, about a foot and a half away from your lower abdomen. Palm pointed towards the lower abdomen, and you chant Yi Jo one nine Yi Jo 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 how, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to now do a little more message center practice and a little more Kundalini practice because today we're going to focus on all five energy centers, a few minutes each, both as practice and as reminder. Okay? We always add soul power. So place your hands in soul light position, soul light, soul service hand position. And we connect to the heart center. Close your eyes, repeat after me. Dear the soul of my message center, my heart center, I love you. 
you have the ability to fully open, to release self-criticism, self-doubt, self-fear. You have the power to open your heart and soul more, to love others more, to release financial blockages, to allow the relationships to become stronger. Do a great job. Thank you. And in this position, we can chant divine light. Notice the flexibility. I'll say the word divine light sometimes. Sometimes I'll even talk about the message center. But we're just going to chant divine light, visualizing divine light coming into your message center from 360 degrees. Divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light. Divine light, 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 divine love, 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 divine, divine love. Silently feel the divine's love. Open your heart to your beloved creator. You came as a perfect, completely perfect, nothing wrong in any way, human being. The divine loves you unconditionally. Divine love, divine love, divine loves me. Divine loves me. Divine loves me. I love divine. I love divine. Send your greatest love to divine. I love you divine. I love you divine. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. How? Drop both hands down to your lower abdomen, one over the other, just below your belly button. Bring your thoughts two and a half inches inside your body behind your palms of your hand. See a golden orb fist-sized energy center gathering light through your feet gathering light through the top of your head light is coming in through every pore into this second energy center lower dantian let us chant divine light 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 Divine light, 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 divine light. Boost power, 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 boost power boost power Joe 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 as you say it bring your whole breath and your voice into your lower abdomen feel your lower abdomen vibrate Joe 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 lights coming in from 365 degrees Joe 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 Jo 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 jo
Kundalini point. Draw an invisible light from your belly button. Straight back to that dip in your back. Go back two thirds of the way. Drop down to th approximately two and a half inches. Visualize a golden light in that area. Leave one hand on your lower abdomen. Place the other hand over that little dip in your back. If you cannot, if it's uncomfortable, just keep both hands on your lower abdomen. Keep your mind in your kundalini point. Soul power, repeat after me. Dear the soul of my kundalini, kundalini area, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. You have the power to boost your power, to clear blockages, to feed and nourish my kidneys, brain, and third eye. You have the power to gather the divine's light, heaven's light, and to heal and rejuvenate yourself. Do a great job. Thank you. <clears throat> Let us chant divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light. Divine light, 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 divine light. Divine light, 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 divine light. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So we did all five energy center practices. How do you feel? I've got sweat all over I am just sweating and I'm in a relatively cool room and it's because the energy is moving when we open and boost power to these five energy centers which I didn't really start until 20 after and right now it's 48 after so it's only been roughly t uh, what about 28 minutes not not quite a half hour and we did an aspect of each of the energy centers with the exception of the third eye and so if you felt some significant shifts uh, hot, I see that from Nicole. Um, vibration, did your crown chakra open up? Do your, does your heart center feel more open? What's shifted in your emotions from the time you came to now? Are you more quiet and relaxed? Are you thinking about that unpleasant thing that you got to before you were here? Um, what about your um, energy level? Were you kind of beat, you know, tired from the day? And how is your energy now? This is just 30 minutes of practice but the reason it has such a significance is because we're using body power where your hands go energy flows we're using mind power creative visualization we're using sound power to further vibrate the area and we're using soul power the th previous three powers in essence what they're doing is they're vibrating the energy and the matter where energy flows blood follows if you can imagine two cells butted up against each other, coagulated and thick, not really moving, then there's no energy that can flow between them. You have stagnation. So therefore you have stagnation of blood as well. So these practices are, are put together in a four power technique to assist in vibrating the cellular energy and matter throughout the physical body. Because the physical body follows the energy body. The energy body follows the soul body you heal the soul first the mind and body will follow the reason you're feeling such a, a, a big difference hot tingling relaxed um, love warmth a variety of things uh, feeling more energized <clears throat> 30 minutes guys not a lot of time it's the four power technique you could do those three and have semi decent results it's the fourth power the soul power that makes all the difference in the world why? Very simply, because the soul carries forth all of our good stuff and our blockages. So when we ask the soul of the heart center, lower Dantian, neck, shoulder, whatever it is we're working with, 
to assist in the transformation process, I'm more than happy to serve. Because what's the purpose of all souls? Is to serve. So we want to honor each of the souls in a very special way by connecting with them. And then Marina, uh, welcome Marina, she says that her headache's getting better. And so I have done some of these practices in the week and several of the students commented that they had a blockage area show up. One had a headache for hours, maybe a little bit longer. And um, what happens is the, the energy body has a connectivity as well to the energy and matter channel which runs through the seven chakras, seven soul houses, up over the head, back down in front of the spine. That's the energy channel. Um, uh, the matter channel runs the other direction. And when we work with the energy and matter channel uh, for healing and rejuvenation, um, there could be blockages anywhere along these seven soul houses. Could be blockages on the top of the head, along the back here, uh, all the way down in front of the spine. Could be some significant blockages. And um, Nicole, you want to check with me on that. I can do a soul reading for you as to the source of that. Um, I, I have a feeling you can probably get some longer term results than anything you've tried. <clears throat> so why would somebody have this kind of experience if they do a practice like this and all of a sudden they have, you know, uh, pain in the neck or, or, or blockage in the head because the energy is not flowing all the way around that circle. Okay. And so we're going to kind of be skirting the seven soul houses and the energy and matter channel because I taught on that about a month ago. So I'm not going to go straight back into it, but do know that there is connectivity amongst all of them. Okay. And so um, there are mantras. There are things that you can do <clears throat> that can assist in the uh, uh, movement of these frequencies, these energies, including literally just talking to them. Do the soul of my seven chakras and the channel that runs through my body up and down the spine. Um, as I chant love, peace, and harmony, can you please cause this energy to flow fully through my body so that it's not stuck? Okay, that's a simple example of soul communication and using the love, peace, and harmony song, which is a healing song, to assist you with moving something if it's stuck. All right, <clears throat> also, as a quick reminder. Uh, Shaw's Golden Healing Ball is always available to us. It sits in heaven. We call upon it. Dear Shaw's Golden Healing Ball, love you. Can you please come to sit in my body? Help me clear this condition. I'm very grateful. And it will. I mean, there's, it's been around for 15 years. It's been serving unconditionally a long time, so it's very powerful. Yeah, Nicole, we need to talk. I can definitely assist you. Um, and Brenda says, neck and shoulder pain and migraines. Yeah. And so a lot of this does have to do with blockages in this energy and matter channel. Some of it actually has to do with blockages in the heart center. I did a healing and transmission system for uh, one of the students. And um, she was very, very emotional. Um, and so I spent quite a bit of time with her, about an hour chanting and, 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 and doing the healing and transmission system and moving the energy, chanting the, the mantra that moves the energy through the channels. And she was vibrating in her own words like champagne. Um, all over her body um, but one of the things she and it's still today this is still the same she says my back pain that I've had for a year is completely gone now in her case her back pain was directly associated with blockages in the heart center sometimes that's not the case for other people they just have it because of you know trauma or long-standing or something like that but oftentimes if we carry a lot of emotions we carry a lot of blockages in our heart center it can absolutely impact the back it's just kind of getting you off the out of the box thinking in a little bit bigger picture okay so when we heal at the level of soul first the mind and body will follow it is such an important comprehension to understand i would encourage anybody that has these forms of suffering to spend more time on my website asoulhealer.com I, I help to bring healing to souls, a soulhealer.com. And there has videos on there that do a pretty good job of explaining things. And it shows the honor feast for receiving the blessings. And um, if you don't understand how and why it works, I'm happy to speak with you about it. The way I look at it, you go to see a chiropractor a couple times, a massage one or two times, you've already dropped two, three, four hundred dollars. Has it helped? Has it helped in the last 10 years, five years? These are a couple hundred dollars and they really, really work. We don't make promises, but I've seen significant differences in a short period of time. So my encouragement is to become aware of it. Okay. So I'm honored and grateful for to bring this teaching to you. I bow down to my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, for 
bringing this to humanity, empowering us to bring it to you. I encourage you to learn more about his wisdom, his teachings. Pick up a book, go to his website, learn more. Also, <clears throat> continue to attend as next uh, tomorrow and we're moving into next week. I'll be focusing on the four major spiritual channels, how to open your soul language, how to release your soul language, how to convert your soul language into soul song, uh, why you'd want to do it. After we spend a few days on that, we're going to move into soul language translation. Now, over a one hour class, these are normally full weekend workshops. So this is going to be just like wetting your tongue a bit. Don't expect miracles, but the wisdom will empower you to go to a weekend workshop or something like that, which are available to many of Dr. Master Shah's worldwide representatives. As a quick reminder to everybody, if you don't want to do the, 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 uh, the work on your own, um, in other words, if you don't want to do the forgiveness practice an hour or two a day and the energy practices uh, consistently, or you don't have the time or whatever it might be, you just want to clear the blockages quickly. You might want to consider the divine services. I've had many people taking advantage of the healing and transmission systems for the five major energy centers. Uh, their packages, the third eye and the uh, Kundalini are a package. And then the heart center, the lower Dantian and the Zhu Chao is a package. The total package has an honor fee of $300 each, okay, each. And what does it include? It includes um, Shen Qi Jing removal of the soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter blockages, which generally speaking are karma blockages. Um, new energy and matter comes in that's karma free. Light wall protection comes. And for the average person, it saves them anywhere between 20 and 100 lifetimes of their own hard work. Um, so I think it's fairly reasonable to consider uh, the, the, the benefits that come with it. The same can be offered for pain, back pain, migraines, things of that nature. I know you don't really understand it at this point based on this very simple and short explanation, but become more educated. Go to my website, call me, ask questions, Facebook message me. My uh, email is, is asoulhealer at yahoo.com, so asoulhealer.com or email asoulhealer at yahoo.com. I'm here to serve you. I'm happy to serve you. I look forward to serving you. Let us thank Divine Tao Source, Original Creator, all beings of light who have come at this time, our individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints. I thank you all for your comments. Please share afterwards. And if you haven't seen the follow button, when I click stop, look for it. Maybe it'll give you a choice to follow and, and know when I go live. Okay? Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.